Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today on The King of Random. In the past, we've done a few different experiments with candy, and we've also done some fun experiments with our chicken mold, which today we're going to be calling a turkey mold because Thanksgiving is coming up soon. In our video where we showed you how to mold and cast your own thumb into a lollipop, we gave you an easy recipe of how to make your own hard candy, but for those who don't feel like following quite so many steps, there is an even simpler method. You can melt down existing hard candy and cast with that by pouring it into your mold. We're going to melt down some Jolly Ranchers and make some new thumb suckers out of that, but we're also going to take it to the next level by making an enormous lollipop out of our turkey. In a previous video, Grant cast a rainbow chocolate bird out of this mold, and a whole lot of you may have noticed that he switched to the green and the blue colors to make an imperfect rainbow. Well, today we're going to try and fix that mistake and cast a new rainbow turkey and get all the colors in the correct order. If we're going to have a rainbow, the first step is going to be pouring out all of our Jolly Ranchers and separating them by color. That smells fantastic. All right, there's the blue. Well, now for the fun part is separating the watermelon from the cherry, which are very similar colors. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. Ah, oh, this whole room just smells like Jolly Ranchers. It's pretty great. There we go, all of our Jolly Ranchers poured and sorted into different colors. We've got a few different shades of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then a couple different purples. We also have some pineapple flavored ones, which don't really have much color at all. I'll probably use those to add a little bit more volume to either the yellow or the orange, just because they shouldn't affect the color much. And then I might even use a little bit of food coloring if I want to tinker with the colors just a little bit. And now for the really fun part, unwrapping hundreds of Jolly Ranchers. For my red color, I'm gonna go for a mix of the strawberry and cherry. There we have it, a pot half full of strawberry and cherry Jolly Ranchers. Now let's throw it on the stove and set it to medium heat until we have one smooth, even liquid. All right, I think our first batch of red is ready to go and be poured into the mold. You just wanna let it settle and cool down just a little bit and see if any of these bubbles rise up out of it, but not so much that it starts solidifying. And if it has bubbles in it, it has bubbles in it. That's all right. I wanna lick it, but I know it would just burn me really badly. Not worth the burn tongue. Here goes, let's start adding some red. One of the problems is I have to guess how much to put in because like, I know approximately how deep the whole turkey is and I know how many colors I'm going to be doing so I know about how much but I still kind of am just, you know, I want equal amounts of each color. It's tricky. All right, now we move on to orange. I've added some of the watermelon pieces in here, which are a little bit pink, so I'll probably end up using a couple drops of yellow food coloring to make sure it keeps the nice orange color. Yeah, this, this first pot that I was using, the bottom of it is so thin that it just kind of starts burning it immediately. All right, this pot has much thicker walls. I think it should work much better. All right, looks like our orange is just about mixed up. That's a pretty good, nice orange color. I'm happy with that. Let's add that to our turkey. Curious how much this has set. All right, it's soft. You can see I'm making little tiny dents with my finger. It's not liquid like it was when I poured it in, but it's still very soft. But I think that's a good amount. It should make it bond nicely with the next layer. We're not just trying to make a giant candy turkey here, we're trying to make a giant candy turkey lollipop. So I've got our appropriately sized lollipop stick, and I'm just gonna leave this in here and then pour all of the candy around that as it cools down. There we go. So far it's actually not touching the surface of the candy, but by the next pour, it'll be embedded in there. All right, our yellow layer is ready to be poured. Gotta be a little careful this time. I have a smaller spot to pour into, but I think it'll work out just fine. I hope that's a good amount of that. That's a pretty good green color. 
Green is going in before blue. That's where we messed up last time. All right, there's a green layer. All right, now it's time for our blue layer. Cool red as it come off, comes off, kind of helix twists for just a second. All right, adding purple, our last layer. You can see that the other layers haven't cooled off as much as they were originally. The purple's kind of pushing down into the blue, so we might get a little bit of a mix in our rainbow. There we go, we've now got six different colors of candy poured into our turkey mold. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Green and blue are in the correct order this time, don't worry. So now we have to just let it cool down. There's a lot of melted candy in here and the silicone doesn't conduct heat very well. So it's gonna take a while for it to really cool down until it's solid all the way through. And we definitely don't want it full of molten candy as we try and demold it. So let's give this several hours to cool down. We'll come back, remove the mold and pop it out. All of our candy molds have now had time to cool off. So let's demold them and see how they turned out. We'll start with the thumb molds. There we go, a two-tone copy of Grant's thumb. I like how it's just kind of bleeding into it here. That's where it dripped on the side of the mold when it was upside down, dripped in and then filled in around it. One thumb sucker. Ugh. And there's my thumb. Also two-tone, we got, I think this is our strawberry cherry mix and this is our grape mountain berry mix. Very cool. That's interesting, there's a little bit of a seam in between them. I'm wondering if we're gonna have that in our turkey as well. We did pour the turkey first and then the thumbs afterwards, so maybe it was a little cooler here and that's why we're getting this division, but we'll find out. All right, on to the main event. Let's see how our turkey's looking. <laughs> that is a big old lump of candy right there. Just trying to be really careful with it because Inside, there are things like the wings and legs, and I don't want those to snap off from it moving around too much. So I don't want to put too much torsion on any one spot. All right, here goes. Let's see how well we can demold this sucker. If anything does break, I have a plan for how to reattach it, but I'm hoping I don't have to use that. Ooh, I'm seeing some good colors. Some bits of our bird taking shape. It's looking good. I think I see some drumsticks down there. <laughs> look at that. We're getting a nice rainbow look right there. Yes! There we go. <laughs> That is a giant rainbow Jolly Rancher turkey. Remember, we're calling it a turkey. Now the Jolly Rancher did get really full of bubbles, so it's not like a crystal clear Jolly Rancher sort of look, but you know, it's, it's translucent, light shines through it. And we have got, I think that's a pretty good rainbow right there. Red, orange, yellow, green, then blue, not blue, then green like the chocolate chicken and then purple on the bottom. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is a huge lollipop. All right, now I, I wanna try something to see if I can smooth out the outside texture just a little bit. I'm gonna try applying a little bit of heat and see if I can get like a smooth melted look to it. All right, I've got the matte gas blowtorch and I'm gonna test out on Grant's thumb casting. What I'm hoping for is that it will sort of smooth it out so it looks like more of a fine production finish. We'll see how this works out. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that works fantastic. I think I lost all of his thumbprints, so no more unlocking his iPhone with it, but it's got like that nice glossy look on the outside. So I think this should work great on the turkey.
There we go. Nice, smoothed out, so it's not sticky, is it? Nope. Nice and smooth. Look at those beautiful colors. Oh, it's glorious. The rainbowiest turkey I've ever seen. I do suspect it doesn't taste like a traditional Thanksgiving turkey. No, it tastes a lot more like Jolly Rancher. All the different flavors, because it's just kind of like a whole bunch of flavors in a line right there. This is heavy. Like, you don't think about how much, how heavy Jolly Ranchers are gonna be, but this thing has gotta weigh at least five pounds. We had a little bit of extra candy for each layer, so I made some Jolly Rancher multicolored play buttons. We also have these molds for, I think they're for making shot glasses out of ice normally, but instead of ice, we use Jolly Rancher candy. Yeah, it's got some really good colors to it. There you have it, probably the world's largest rainbow colored hard candy turkey lollipop. If you know of a bigger rainbow colored turkey cast candy lollipop, let me know and I'll, I'll cede the throne to them. But for now, I'm pretty sure we have it. If you have hard candies, you can easily melt them down and cast them into other shapes. We've got some thumb suckers, we've got some shot glasses, we have a rainbow assortment of play buttons, and of course we have our surprisingly heavy rainbow Jolly Rancher turkey lollipop. This is a fun project that's easy to do at home. If you don't have a mold of a turkey lying around, that's all right. You can follow the instructions in our thumbsucker video to make your own mold of whatever you want. Thanks for joining us for this project today, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Dang it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> There's like 15 Jolly Rancher wrappers stuck to the bottom of the counter. Or it's like a candy turkey version of Thor's hammer. With some with lightning bolts. Jolly Rancher's falling from the sky, raining sugar. I tried. I don't know if it's quite the right thing to serve up and give it to a whole lot of people with mashed potatoes, but it's delicious. Guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> oh, I'm 12. Hey guys, just want to remind you that King of Random t-shirts go on sale tomorrow. That's November 24th. So check back on tomorrow's video and watch my other social media for links to where you can get your own. Hey guys, I hope you loved this video as much as we love making it for you, because if you didn't, then I guess we both just wasted our time. But we are literally working on the next one right now, so we'll see you as soon as we get it finished. Talk to you then.